Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna do a TJ Maxx shop with me. It's been time for one. And you'll have to forgive me because I'm still trying to figure out this vlog camera. It's giving me the worst time, but there's really nothing I can do about it. I have to film a little voiceover for, for this video because I'm not letting this footage go to waste, but please bear with me while we try to get a good microphone for this camera because I would really like to make it work. But we did find some really good stuff. I am really excited about the finds this week. Lots of good perfume, body care, a couple new makeup things. So let's go ahead and get to shopping. We're back at TJ Maxx, this time with a voiceover today because my vlog camera, I got a new one and it's giving me all sorts of issues. But let's see what they have. The first thing that I spotted were these Mod Con. These are the liquid gel blushes. Now, I do think we found the liquid gel contours here. So this was kind of exciting. The contours are okay, but they're a little on the natural side, I will say. They do blend out super easily though. I personally haven't tried the blushes myself, but I assume they would be a very similar formula. These were nine at 99, by the way, they had two shades in stock. I do think they might be discontinuing these just because they do have new cream ones on the market. I did find a NARS liquid blush as well in the shade Torrid. I really like this formula. I have the Orgasm shade at home. It's their older style, which they did get new ones, and I actually like the old one better. I feel like these are more pigmented. This is $14.99, which isn't too bad considering these normally retail for like $40. Doing another little skin here, we have some more ColourPop. I did go over these palettes, I think, in my last video. Lots of Physicians Formula restocks. And then we're starting to see Beauty Bakery. So I don't know if you guys heard the news, but Beauty Bakery is going to be no longer. This is a bakery-inspired brand, so all their stuff is kind of dessert-like themed or bakery themed. But yeah, the owner decided they don't want to do makeup anymore. I did find that this, like... The Chosen Bun Eyeshadow Palette it was $7.99, so everything is relatively pretty cheap. They did sell this at certain Ulta stores and also some Target stores also carried this, but we're probably going to see a lot from them. This is the Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette from them, only $6.99, so if there was some stuff you were wanting from the brand, it is really, really cheap right now. Okay, next section, we had some Laura Mercier foundation restocks, lots of Bare Minerals primers showing up here. They had the Combo Control, which is a balancing primer, the Good Hydrations Hydrating one as well. These were $8.99 each. I feel like these are relatively new. They also had this, uh, I think I already did that one, the Combo Control. And then the original Prime Time. Now I am seeing lots of Super Goop this week, which is new to the store. They have the Glow Setting Mineral Powder. I really like these. You can just stick them in your bag and it works as a touch-up powder for makeup, but it also has SPF in the formula. The one thing though about these is the expiration date. You have to watch on them because usually sunscreen is coming up pretty quickly. As you can see from the date here, it expires. Uh, January of 2025 so you do have limited time to use it but if you do use it a lot you'll definitely go through it in that time span but yeah just be careful with SPF there was some more KVD restocks here some boring palettes but nothing really super exciting over here next we have buxom i did find a couple of their lip polishes here these were some of their limited edition fall ones i was pretty excited about it this is in daisy donut for 7.99 and it is supposed to smell like donuts they also had this fun pink one in the background this is just one of their regular ones the dolly I think it said Dolly something. I can't quite read it because I'm going too fast here. And then they also had this apple one as well. I remember this one coming out like the apple cider. This is one of the plumping lip mattes. For skincare, I found more super goop. They had the daily dose bio retinol mineral SPF 40. Again, look at those expiration dates. All SPF should have it printed. I remember this one was going bad in a few months, so that was something you had to, you know, go through pretty quickly, but we are seeing just lots of super goop lately. We also have a new Juice Beauty product. This is in collaboration with Kate Hudson. It's an Energizing Age Defy Cocktail Serum. It looks like a little mini size. This was $7.99. It is only 0.4 ounces. They also had this one, which is the Hydrating Cocktail. So just a couple little serums from them. And then this was like the find of the week. I found a huge bottle of the Ellis Brooklyn Bee Perfume with a 3.4 ounce. And the price on this was absolutely insane, you guys. 
This one was going for $59.99. This literally smells like sweet honey. It's such a good one from them. I'm always shocked to find their fragrances. They actually had these mini travel sprays in sci-fi as well, which I have not tried this one. These were $12.99. And then I think this might be a mini dab on perfume in their Sunfruit line, which came out last year, one of their newer ones. Um, this was just a really tiny size. This one was going for $9.99. And then we also had some fun sets from the brand Sand in Fog. I really like their perfume oils, and I found this little oil set that had the Amber Bloom Vanilla Musk and then Santel and Cardamom. These are really, really nice. But I also noticed they had some other sets too um, that come with some soaps and also a little perfume roller ball. They had a variety of different scents here, so I thought I would just show those because this brand seems to be pretty popular lately. And then a couple more of these perfume oil sets in Florida Vanilla and in Santorini that looked really, really nice as well. And the price on this was $9.99. I did find another Sand and Fog single perfume oil in the Pistachio Dream. Now, I'm pretty sure I found this already, but I don't know if they changed the packaging because the one I got is in a mint bottle that has a dropper on it. This is $14.99. So I'm thinking they just changed the packaging on this, but it smells just like the Kaoli Pistachio. And then everyone's going crazy for these on Instagram, but I really didn't think they're that great. There is the Strawberry Macaroon, which... Is this a really tart strawberry? The Sweet Mimosa and the Sunkissed Sea Salt. It's by the True Fragrance Company that makes the vanilla potion that's really popular. But I just wasn't impressed with these. I know there is a pistachio scent in this line as well. There's been pistachio things everywhere. Again, these are $12.99 a piece. And then I spotted this new scent, which intrigued me. It's called Italian Escape from the Good Scent. I read Fresh Lemons and Pound Cake and my brain was like, what? Smelled it. It smells more like lemon cleaner to me. It's $14.99. I do not get any whiffs of pound cake whatsoever. So this was such a fail to me. They also have this Amore one, which is Dahlia and Sandalwood. And then over here, I actually liked these. This is by Brightside Perfumes. We have Seaside Stroll. This literally smelled like walking on the beach. It was very fresh and aquatic. It's $12.99. This was really nice. So it, all these perfumes are very hit or miss in this section. And then Love Letter. This one was really pretty as well, but I did not pick any of them up. They are fine. Not like absolute must-haves for me. Moving on to the body care section, I'm starting to see a lot of Walmart brands here. We have Heritage. We found their body scrub. Um, these are pretty cheap already at Walmart. It's $4.99 here, only saving really a couple bucks. But yeah, I'm seeing so much from the Walmart body care brands coming into TJ Maxx right now. But I do like this line a lot, but I'm not a huge fan on the Yuzu and Mint scent. And then I also found some new Tree Hut. They had the Lavender Body Butter. I don't even remember seeing this anywhere. <laughs> but they did have this at tj maxx i think it's one that's being discontinued the price on this was 9.99 which seems a little up there for tree hut in my opinion i did find these really cute little bath bombs though they had the peachy balm which is peach melba these are so cute they're by the brand ask within somerset they come with quite a few in there they also had these little cherry bombs and the be the zest lemon bombs which are supposed to be really citrusy but yeah i thought that these were so adorable next they had so many cute Cute little headbands i found a little disney mike wazowski one i had to share i love monsters inc so i thought that was fun a little winnie the pooh they have a mean girls one over to the right which is just i'm a mouse duh and then this little alien guy but lots of hello kitty ones too they have so many of these little spa headbands and then i forgot to check the perfume case so we're gonna do that i actually found a ton of full-size ellis brooklyn's these are the 1.7 ounces so a little smaller than the b one but they had fun sci-fi and rose but i couldn't see how much they were but i'm assuming they're gonna be cheaper than 59 so probably around 39 and then they have this Carolina Herrera Good Girl Le Jour version. I've never smelled this one before, but I'm assuming it's different than the other ones. And this is just a little roll-on. Wish we could find a full size of this one. Um, the price, I think it was like $19.99 or something like that. They had a mini MCM as well, which I haven't seen before. This new Mimic 39, which is Sensual Honey Floral. It kind of sounds like Joe Malone maybe. 
dupe and then the jimmy chew i want you in a small travel size and a big size as well so they had some pretty good perfumes there i did want to share these fun little shoes they had these from madden girl i love the little knit design on these they give me such 70s vibes they're so bright and colorful they had a couple different designs they were 34.99 each but i love the madden girl shoes here's another one with yellows and browns it's definitely giving 70s throw blanket and then these were so fun too i love the sparkle on these for a little glitz and glamour these were $24.99 I have some that are similar from last year and then they had a cute little Mother's Day section here tons of cups right now uh, the glass tumblers which I love you can find boy mom girl mom this little floral one that even had some grandma things there is no cat mom though and then I found a pistachio and cherry candle this was so good I've been noticing a trend with these like western looking candles with boots on them and stuff like that but I did really like this one. I've just never tried this brand before, but I think they are really cute in this. Yeah, it did smell really, really nice. I haven't been seeing much exciting decor things because I feel like spring and summer doesn't have the most exciting stuff. Once it gets to July and we start seeing the Halloween things, I do go a little crazy with the decor. But I did find this cute little checkered tray and I wanted to share it because I thought this was really nice. It was so heavy, so well made. A little pricey it was um $19.99 but it was really really nice i really liked that that'd be such a cute little coffee table tray and these cups you guys this is from hydro peak hydro peak i guess it is look how sparkly they have this blue chrome one and this pink chrome one oh my goodness but these look like they get scratched up really easily so i passed on them they were $16.99 but i love the design on them and then you guys these bling ones also from hydro peak i really should have bought this it was a little bit expensive though i think it was $24.99 for these but can you see these crystals? Oh my gosh, they had the purple, they had the pink one. I need to find these again because they are so beautiful. Okay, I did find a couple more things at the next location. They had a Pat McGrath new set with their Divine La Line and Lash Duo. It has a mascara and a liner. I do find that her mascara uh, smudges really bad, so I don't necessarily recommend it if you have oily skin. This whole set was $16.99. I'm also noticing quite a few Florence by Mills products. They had a couple bronzers from them, the Out of This World bronzers. These kind of look like the Huda ones from Glowish that are being discontinued. This was $3.99. They had like a cool light and a warm light shade as well. But yeah, I thought I would share that. And then more Beauty Bakery. This was a cute little waffle lipstick that they had from them. This was $4.99 in the shade Waffle Gatto interesting name <laughs> and then oh my gosh these little makeup bags look at this alice in wonderland one this is so cute from skinny dip london i'm such a sucker for these this was 9.99 and they also had a spongebob with the jellyfish that is so fun look at this barbie one too and oh my goodness this cherry one but i why does it say no on it i don't really like that i wish it was just the heart cherries and that's it so anyways i did find another tree hut scrub this is coconut lime from them i love finding these here this one was priced a little better at 5.99 so i feel like the lavender one was mispriced for some reason these actually smelled really good. They had these body glow shimmer oils from Noemi, which I'm not familiar with. The Tahitian vanilla, this smelled amazing for $5.99. This would be so nice to mix in with your lotion in the summer. Another Florence by Mills, this is a moisturizing mask. This looks like a little mini size from them. And then this low-key calming peel-off mask as well for $5.99. Don't really recommend peel-off masks though. They're not great for the skin. Okay, I found another Kylie product. They actually got the Wizard of Oz collection here. I just found this little lip set though. Um, I did see these at Nordstrom Rack a while ago, but we have been finding Kylie Cosmetics lately. And this comes with three little lip products for $7.99. I did think this was a really cute collection though. I'd be curious to see if the eyeshadow palette shows up. I did find a little mini Lawless Loose setting powder too we find random stuff from them quite a bit this is just the mini size so it wasn't very expensive this is translucent talc free uh 4.99 for this i would be careful with the lawless stuff though because they are a clean brand so their stuff expires quick and then they had a estee lauder double wear concealer for 12.99 that we always get the light shades of estee lauder here i don't know why so we found that we had some kvd restocks the go bigger go home mascara mini 
that one was I think like $4.99 or something and then also Beauty Bakery had their powder here which was like one of their viral products that kind of got them on the map because it's in the shape of a little flower bag it's really cute this was $9.99 in the oat translucent shade and then I did find some more Lawless in this section hiding. I have never even seen this product before from them. I was so confused. This was the Summer Skin Vacation Glow Multi-Stick, so like a stick highlight. Let me know if you guys have heard of this before. It's $9.99 in the shade Sparkling Champagne. They had a couple of those. They did also have the primer, which we've been seeing a lot, the hydrating and smoothing one. I think this one's also $9.99. And then I noticed that Saint and Fog is now making body butters. These look so good. They're nice and heavy. This is Vanilla Sands. It smells really nice. So yeah, this brand is definitely one to look out for at the stores now. They're coming out with lots of new body care. Let's see. The price on this is $7.99. They also have these, which I've been seeing at Walmart. But they kind of look like Truly Beauty. They're $6.99. They're like those rainbow. They look like whipped cream like products like frosting but everyone touches them and they're just kind of gross so we just avoid them and then Kopari had their KP body bumps be gone body pads I have not seen those here before but we can usually find all of Kopari's launches at TJ Maxx so I never really recommend paying full price because you can find them like half price here I did find a new Onyx Bathhouse scrub as well. This is the Rosé scrub, or smell the Rosé. Uh, I've been missing their scrubs lately. These are, This was $5.99. We used to find them all the time. I did see that Onyx Bathhouse has an entire new line at Walmart now, which is exciting. And then I also love the Dr. Teal scrubs, and they had a ton of the pomegranate and blackcurrant here, which I'm assuming is going to be a really fruity one. I usually use their almond one, but these are really, really nice. Another tree hut find, we have the watermelon bath soak here for $5.99 so a big tree stock it must be this is kind of like the Dr. Teal's Epsom salts you just put in the water but this is just a more moisturizing one and then I also found a bunch of these bliss lotions or sorry not lotions the body washes we have seen the lotions here before but I didn't know if this was old packaging it is their cloud nine line we have the blood orange and white pepper here these are humongous bottles they're the going way. for only $9.99 they also had my favorite one which is the almond milk and vanilla I have the lotion in this but I was excited to see the body uh shower gel and then they also had lemon and sage here and then back to looking at the cups because there's just some really cute ones every time i check they actually had a bunch of teacher ones this time this one has a cute little apple on top which i thought was cute to cover the straw but yeah they are loaded with mother's day stuff right now and teacher appreciation gifts if you're looking to make a little gift basket they have so many fun things you can include and then i also spotted these really cute vases i had to share i love this checkered print they have this beautiful it's kind of like a lavender pinky one for 9.99 and also this taupe color but i thought that these were too cute not to share also went to check the purses and they had gotten in a ton of mark jacobs purses now mark jacobs purses are a little more on the high end side but we don't see them very often at my stores this black and white one was 139 they also have this fuzzy one which this is one of their most popular styles not so much the fuzzy but they do have these in normal colors but all these bags are about the same price, like $139, but you can see the retail was like $370 on that one. They had this bright orange one as well for $179, fun summer color. I thought this Vince Commuta bag was adorable as well, this pink with the jewels. I'm, oh, I'm kind of looking for a new evening bag, and this would have been a fun one. I should have grabbed it. And then I was looking at the jewelry, and I noticed they had these fun bubble letter necklaces, which have been trending lately. They had one in the M. It was $19.99, but I was excited to see that trend here at TJ Maxx so soon. And then I thought this was cute too. They had this initial necklace with an A. I thought that was absolutely beautiful. It looks like something Kendra Scott would come out with. I did find a couple more of the bubble letter ones. They had an A and they also had um, an L if I can find it. <laughs> yes, they had an L which I was thinking actually about picking up because I thought that was so cute. And back to the perfumes, I actually found this really nice set from Laura Mercier which I definitely plan on buying because a lot of their older body products they changed and reformulated so a lot of them are showing up here and I love their body souffles. So I had to get this set which I'll share in the end and go 
a little more in detail because you can't really see it in this case and then lastly i just wanted to show you all the key sunglasses that they have because they have so many styles right now they're all 24.99 oh my gosh i used to love these these are cute little heart ones i also like these nude ones they have the fun green ones in the back this tortoise print but they actually have some super cute styles right now in the glass cases at tj maxx all right guys how'd you like the finds want to see what i bought because i'm about to show you of course if you watched you probably already know i did pick up that cute little l it's kind of like a bubble necklace not super bubble necklace i actually bought a bubble necklace on bobble bar it was kind of expensive i had to customize it and everything and then when i got it it doesn't even look like an l it kind of looks like a J. <laughs> I feel like this one, it's pretty obvious that it's an L, so I'm excited about that. I need to try it on and see if the chain is long enough for me. And then I also got this Laura Mercier set. I saw this on Instagram, someone found it, and I couldn't believe it was at my store as well. But I love the old Laura Mercier body care. The reformulated stuff just does not hit as much as the old stuff did. And I bought this set, it was $39.99 for all three of these. And if you know Laura Mercier body care, you know it's expensive. So they actually had the almond coconut in the body cream these actually last really well too so even though this might be a couple years old it should still smell the same yeah it does because i have a couple still from the old line these last really well i have been savoring my amber vanilla in the bath the honey bath i like to swirl this in my bath it's super moisturizing it just makes for a nice luxurious experience and then the perfume i think i'm gonna end up selling this one i don't know i might just spray once but i'm not always a big fan of the perfumes i don't feel like they smell as good this one's not too bad, honestly. Laura Mercier puts something in their fragrances that I do not like the perfumes of, like the Amber Vanilla. A lot of people love it, but it's just not for me. But yeah, I will say this Almond Coconut is not bad at all. I just don't think I need this in my collection, so I think this is something I'll sell and then just keep these two guys because, you know, I paid for this with my own money. I can sell it if I want to. I don't know. People seem to have an issue that I like to sell products that I purchase myself if I'm not using them anymore. I don't get it. I buy a lot of stuff too and it's nice to get a little money back on those purchases if it's something that maybe I regret buying but I have to buy a lot for this job. So oftentimes if there's something I don't like, I haven't really used much of it, I will put it on my Poshmark page. So that's that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, even though I had to do this voiceover. I'm hoping the next one will be golden. With, I bought a new clip on mic, so hopefully that will fix the problem we've been having with this new camera. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys go, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.